Hey YouTube, it's Angelica. Welcome back to Beautiful Moments 100 and today I'm going to show you the process I use to moisturize and seal my hair, particularly my ends. And this is a process that I do before I go to bed. It's really easy and I will take you through it step by step. Section off your hair. Typically I do four sections. You can just use simple hair clips like this. Oftentimes when I'm in a hurry, I will just take a hair tie and tie one section out of the way and then just separate the other two sections like that. Detangle your hair using a large tooth comb. Just start at the ends and work your way up and I always try to take a firm grasp at the top so you're less likely to pull out your hair because basically this hand is holding your hair in. So you just work your way all the way down and you do that on each section until you get to the top so you can easily comb through it with no snakes. So that is step one. Step two is to spray your hair. Now there's two options. You can spray your hair with water, which is really hydrating and very good for you. If you think your hair might need some nourishment, then you can use a leave-in conditioner. You wanna use one that has a low alcohol content. So I just do whichever one I think is necessary. Today I'm going to use water. Okay, so I spray the section with water and I make sure it goes all the way through, particularly to the ends. And then I select a moisturizer. I'll show you a couple of my favorites. This one is by Curl. It's called Curl Prime Brulee. You can get it at Target. Um, I saw it at Sally's. There's, you can, it's easy to find and not expensive. My next one, this is incredibly strong. You only need a small amount. I learned that the hard way. This is really, really strong. So if you're just starting your hair journey, this might be a good one to start with. It's by Shea Moisture. Um, it says it's Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask with Sea Kelp argan oil and shea butter. It's for dry damaged hair. Another option which I've been using for quite a while is by Organic Root Stimulator. It's their olive oil incredibly rich moisturizing hair lotion. So those are the three that I typically use. I will spray my hair, let it absorb a little bit, and then spray later. It's a really good idea to do these in layers. Layer one, water or conditioner. And if you're doing two layers, you could use both. You could first use water and then use your leave-in conditioner or just layer both of them twice, whatever you like. Okay, so step two, while it's still wet, you have to choose a moisturizer. Today I'm going to use the Curl Creme Brulee because I think that that's the one that will benefit my hair the most today. Your hair will always change, so you just want to use one that you think will work best on that day for your hair's needs. And this one smells really good, almost like Creme Brulee. So I start at the bottoms and get my ends. And then I work my way up. And like I said, it's good to do this in layers. So sometimes I'll let this soak in a little bit before I work, I go to my next layer. So in the meantime, I could do this side if I wanted to. So step two was using your actual moisturizer. Step three is sealing it. The ones that work best for me are olive oil, almond oil, and coconut oil. Today I'm going to use my almond oil. And you only need a little bit to put that in your hands. And you still want your hair to be moist at this point so that it will spread more easily. And again, I'm starting at the end. So my ends are already sealed. Now, if you're only sealing your ends, just do these three steps on your ends. Because very often your whole hair won't need this much moisture. Okay, so we've completed steps one through three. Sometimes I will go through and do it again your liquid, your moisturizer, and your sealer. Okay, so at this point, this section is done. So you do this to your entire head, the front and the back. We'll just say that I did that to save us some time. My whole hair is moisturized, it's feeling great. What I like to do is then to either twist it or braid it. And for this video, we'll just braid it. And I'll do it into two sections. You can do four if you'd like. But just based on what size I like my, this is almost like doing um, a twist, oh. but based on what size I want my curl pattern to be the next day, or I'll either twist or braid. So I braid all the way to the bottom, do that to the next side, and I don't like to start my braids up here because I don't like my curl pattern up there. And also keep in mind that when I brush, or when I comb out all of my hair, which I skipped for the purposes of this video, my curl pattern will be lost, or at least a lot looser, so that this new curl pattern that I'm putting in will be my predominant curl pattern for the next day. Well, I'll do a whole video on twist out. So there's a lot more to it than just this, because this is actually for the purposes of moisturizing. Oh, I missed this section. 
will say that I've braided all of my hair all the way to the bottom. Okay, so once you've braided all of your hair to the bottom, I like to stretch it so the next day it's longer, and I will take it, wrap it around my head in the opposite direction, and I will use two pins. I want this to be pretty tight, but I'm very gentle about putting in these hair clips. And in the top, I do it this way. And I always wrap it going the opposite direction. But so in the morning, it'll all face this way, and it'll look really pretty. And the other side. And like I said, I like to use two clips just so that I'm getting more tension on my hair. And there we go. Next side. Like I said, be very gentle about putting these in. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's basically a protective style and it's holding in the moisture. At this point, oftentimes, I will spray again just to reactivate the moisture before I go to bed. And then if I really, really, really want a deep treatment, I will put on a shower cap and then my satin bonnet. But most of the time I just use the satin bonnet. And what I'll tell you is it is so much better and a better use of your money to spend an extra dollar or two and get the kind with a band like this versus the elastic band because it will last so much longer. So I put this thing on. It's not very sexy but very practical. And I sleep like this. Now, if you don't want to wear a satin bonnet, you can get satin pillowcases. But for me, I feel like the bonnet is better because when you sleep on a satin pillowcase, these oils and any dirt or anything that might be in your hair gets on the pillowcase. And if you sleep on your side, that can jam into your skin. If it's a special occasion, then you can use a satin pillowcase if for whatever reason you don't want to be looking like this when you wake up in the morning or while you're sleeping. Um, but in general, I do think that is much better just to use the bonnet or a scarf or even a do-rag, whatever you feel the most comfortable in as long as it's satin. So that is how I moisturize my hair. I really hope you enjoyed it. Well that's all. Please leave your comments below telling me how you moisturize and seal, what moisturizers you use, and if you have a different routine for nighttime versus during the day. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.